All right, we're gonna cover single hand collar grab defense. So this is when our opponent grabs either our shirt, our collar, or lapel uh, with a bent arm, okay? Anytime our opponent has a bent arm, uh, it's usually because they're pulling on us. So when we practice these, a lot of times uh, we're just standing here and our opponent's not really doing anything. So this is okay at first, but eventually we want to get to where we can do these realistically where my opponent's really pulling on me and pulling me out of base. So uh, the other issue we have here, anytime someone grabs with one hand, I've got to be very concerned with what this second hand is doing. Okay, so number one is always punch defense. If he's got one hand on me, always concerned about punch. I'm always concerned anyways, but I'm especially concerned when he's only got one hand on me. Okay? If he's got two hands on me, right, I'm still concerned, but at least I know where his hands are. So personally, I like when my opponent grabs me with two hands. Okay? So for the single hand collar grab, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I want to turn just slightly towards that arm. If he winds up here, okay, ideally we can go to our hip throw. So I step in to block the arm, cut the tricep on the far side, head comes in, underhook, boot the T position. Okay. If he's not threatening the punch, then I'm okay to do the move. Okay. So I've protected against the punch, Okay. My opponent might be pulling on me, okay? So I need to establish a base, okay? By putting this foot a little forward and just leaning away slightly, this will help if he really starts pulling on me. So if he starts pulling on me, if I don't, if I don't react to this, he's gonna pull me down and now I'm out of my base. So I need to establish a base. So as always, number one, punch defense. Number two, establish base, okay? Only from there can I successfully do any of the moves. So, for this move, once I've determined he's not gonna punch me, this hand is going to grab his wrist, palm up. Okay. This hand is going to grab his elbow, also palm up. From here, I'm going to step in, and the important detail on this move is to put my elbow to my hip. The reason this is important is because if he's pulling down on my collar here, which he likely will be because he has a bent arm, there's going to be some resistance there. And so as I step through here, if I don't connect that elbow to the hip, I'm not going to be able to lift this arm to be able to duck under. Okay? So by connecting the elbow to the hip, I'm able to put my entire body into this arm. Rather than lifting with just my arm, okay, you're never gonna be able to lift uh, a strong person's arm this way. But as soon as I connect that, I'm putting my entire body, by like pushing my hip through on this. So palm up, palm up, connect to the hip, and I'm gonna take a step through here. Okay, from here I'm going to turn, put my butt through, and then step behind, okay? We'll just turn this way. I just wanna make sure I've got a firm grip of this wrist. If I don't, I'm gonna end up in a headlock here, okay? Which we'll have moves for later, but ideally, we don't wanna intentionally put ourselves in a headlock, okay? So from here, you can see my head is the last thing through. We tend to wanna put our head through first, but we're actually putting the head through last. So from here, I'm just going to slip my head out, and then we'll turn this a little more here so we can see. My hands haven't moved until the very end. The hand that's on the wrist is going to slip off, and it's going to come up and cup the tricep. Okay. I'm going to keep pressure down here, and I like to grab the head here to keep the head down as well. Okay. If I allow my opponent to posture up, he can slip out really easily. Okay? And if he knows what he's doing, he can apply a Samaritana to me. So if I can keep his posture down by pushing on the, the tricep, 
keeping my wrist pinched to my shoulder so that his forearm can't pop out, and then put the hand to the back of the head, I can control him pretty easily here. Okay, I can hold him. Okay, I can start working submissions, okay, strikes, whatever. So a couple more times from this angle, and then we'll switch angles. So number one, always punch the fence. Two, establish base. If he starts pulling on me, I put that foot forward and just lean back. Okay. If and only if I determine that he's not going to try and punch me, I can do the move. Palm up on the wrist, palm up on the elbow. I'm going to connect the elbow to hip, step in, and right here is where I'm driving the hip to really lift this elbow. Okay. Turn, butt comes through first, foot, and then lastly, the head. So the switch angles here. Okay. Punch the fence. Establish base. Grab the wrist. Grab right on the point of the elbow. Okay, I can step in. That makes it a little easier to reach. From here, connect the elbow to hip. I'm going to take a step. And I want to step out about 6 to 12 inches away from his foot. And the reason is if I step out, if I step too close, there's not enough space here for me to get through. It's too tight. Okay. If I step out way too far, okay, this kind of just makes it easy for him to move. He can move towards my back. Okay, weird things start happening. So just about six to twelve inches here. So palm up, palm up, elbow to hip, step. Turn. You can see I'm kind of pulling this up onto my shoulder. That'll make it easier to move through as well. Okay. But foot. Okay. From here, the last thing is my head sinks through. Got a firm grip on this wrist and on this elbow still. From here, I'm turning my hand so that my fingers are pointed toward his tricep and the hand shoots through cupping the tricep. Okay. Pushing down on that, and I like to block his elbow, his forearm, so that his arm can't pop out, and control the head. Okay. So one more time here. Punch the fence, establish face. Palm up on the wrist, step in, palm up on the elbow, elbow to hip, Step through and really drive the hips here. You can see that that creates a lot more space for us to move through. Okay? If he's able to keep that elbow low, there's no way I'm getting under that. So that's where the hips come into play here. Okay? Turn, butt comes through, foot comes through, and then head last. This hand here is going to Point towards his tricep, shoot through, cup. Keep this tight here. If I allow space here, he can pull his arm out and escape. So by pinching tight here, he can no longer get his wrist out. And the last thing I like to do, hand to the head to control his posture. Okay. All right, that's single hand collar grab defense. Thanks.